Welcome back, friends, to Fall of Porcupine. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Last time we worked the night shift at the hospital after the hibernation festival, and we got to sit with Irma uh, for what I believe was actually the last time. But I'm glad she got to share her story, and she kind of went out with that in mind. So uh, we're going to continue on. I don't know how much longer or how much more this game has. Oh, there's that ball again. Oh, we have a little winter outfit. Oh, that's cute. Hi. Wow, looks like someone got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning. What happened? Didn't you enjoy the hibernation festival? Things aren't so great right now, Alfio. Can I help you? No. I'm sorry, Alfio. Oh, my feet are gonna get cold. Hmm. No. Doesn't have much to say about the bike. Okay. wait for the bus. It's it's snowy. Sorry, hiccups. It's snowy. It's cold. <laughs> I don't blame you for not wanting to walk outside in this. Oh, you're gonna slip if you're not careful on that. That is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Sense a dark cloud over you, young one. You had a death on your ward, right? It's never pretty, that's for sure. But the river of life flows on regardless. Let it carry you. We'll all get swept into the great sea of eternity one day. Morning. Have a nice weekend. Why the gloomy face? Morning, Ingrid. I'm not in a great mood. Is this because of Mrs. Ryokama? I'm sorry, kid. Really. I like the old lady, too. I was hoping I'd feel better after the weekend. Well, I guess you're just one of those people who feels a lot for others. Just make sure it doesn't become a problem for you. Death's a part of your profession, kid. Try to focus. There's enough living people around here who need your help. I get it, though. They always say that first death really sticks with you. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll focus and try my best. That's the spirit. the news this morning. Do you want to talk? Maybe grab a coffee or something? No. I want to get my work done first. Okay. If you want to talk later, just come and find me, okay? Good morning, Finley. How are you? Alright, I think. A patient died yesterday. You're a patient. I imagine Irma's death is still on your mind. Nevertheless, I would ask that you don't let your performance levels drop. We can't let these things affect our work. Got it. You can rely on me. You know the drill. We'll talk again once you finish treating your patients. Try to make this a good day, Finley. In spite of everything. Good luck. Oh, one more thing. Irma died of complications from pneumonia. She was old. Her immune system couldn't hold off. Uh, hold everything off. She remained stable for a while, however, her condition worsened during her stay here. These things happen sometimes. The incident with the water damage in her room probably didn't help either. What I'm trying to say is... 
You did nothing wrong. I even made a note to that effect in my report. I signed you to treat Irma, and that was the right decision. I'm sure of it. Thank you. Okay. So we've got our cranky friend. A little owl friend and our bat friend. Let's go to 301 first. You're Emma, right? Okay. Miss Emma Strawberry Yogurt, right? No. I'm Emma Smith. Oh, right. That's what it says here. I must have read it wrong. How are you feeling, Emma Smith? I miss my home. I've got a tummy ache, too. You did get some pills, didn't you? But it's still not better yet? No. Alright, let's take a closer look at what's up with your tummy, then. Oh god, okay. So. We're gonna try a little bit of everything. Oh, wait. And see what sticks. Okay, that does not really help me, so I'm just gonna keep going down. No. So we know it's um not the skull, at least. The skull was not part of this. Oh, now there's another one. Um, I guess the tear is a part of it. Okay, that is where the tear goes. So let's just keep going down and keep hoping. Oh, look at that. Nice. So that. Okay, there we go. Hey, look at me go, actually doing something right. I think your pain is because of your food allergy. I read that you're not allowed to eat certain things, is that right? Yes. So are you watching what you eat then? Yeah, but... What is it, Emma? Well, Gerda said that after the hibernation festival, you can eat as many nuts as you want. Is Gerda your mom? No, my mom's name is Mom, and she's away. So, who's Gerda then? Gerda knees dork. I always visit her when I'm homesick. She's a doctor like you. Wait a minute. Do you mean Dr. Kneesdorf? Yeah. Can you do me a favor, Emma? Okay. Please don't eat any more nuts. I'm sorry, but your tummy doesn't like nuts, not even after the hibernation festival. Oh. It's mean, I know, but your tummy aches are mean too, aren't they? Yes. So you keep off the nuts, and we'll think of some nice things for you and your tummy to eat, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nut allergies are no joke. Actually, allergies in general suck. <laughs> Okay, P31 and P33. Good morning, Miss Van Gillen. Is that the time already? Your colleague said you'd be checking on me again today. Well, looks like she was right. Shall we get straight to it? I'm sure you want to get back home too. Oh god, this again. All right. I'm gonna take a take a drink. Figure this one out. Okay. So, get rid of a little blue, but add in some pink. A little pink, little orange never hurt. There we go. Uh, I can get rid of some red and some green. There we go. So, those ones are good. I just need to add some blue add some orange and get rid of some yellow but I think 
we can max out on pink just fine because it's already at the max. Oh, whoopsies. It's already at the max. There we go. See, that one was doable. Wait. Oh, am I only meant... I'm only meant to have a certain amount, aren't I? Right. I'm bad at this. Just don't mind me. I'm here for the story. <laughs> yep. I'm seeing a significant improvement. You know what? I'm actually feeling a lot better today. Better than I have in years. I feel like I'm really aware of my surroundings again. Sounds like the medication's doing its job. Yes. But I think there's more to it than that. I managed to talk to Dr. Gautera again, and it was like he tore down a wall inside me. Suddenly I saw everything I used to think was important in a different light. I decided to change my life around completely. I don't want to end up here again. I want to be able to focus on other things, instead of just living for my job. I called my boss this morning and requested four weeks off. That's great. That's not what she thought. She threatened to fire me on the spot. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I am the island. I am the sea. And maybe unemployed. But I don't care at all, and that's great. I'll do my exercises. And follow my heart more. Thank you for helping me. I'll make sure to thank Dr. Gautura again before I leave, too. Have a great day. And look after yourself. Will do. Now, my dear colleague, what's your assessment of your health status? My withdrawal symptoms are diminishing and so is the pain. Good. Do you mind if I examine you? That's what I'm here for. Oh. Oh, it's this again. Oh god. Here we go. R. Down. L. Square. There we go. <laughs> they really think that you have more than two hands and more than ten fingers to do this with. We're gonna keep increasing your vitamin B1 and energy intake. Your liver's on the mend. Are you sure? Nonsense, my liver's had it. Readings are clear. Really? You came to us just in time. Feel free to take a look for yourself. We'll have to keep you here for a few more days for observation. If you want to keep on living, you need to keep off the alcohol. Forever. Clear, honest words. I like it. Maybe something will come of you after all in the distant, far off future. What do I... Or what I do or don't do is none of your business, understand? I've given you my medical opinion. What you do with it is entirely up to you. Very true. And hopefully, um, the, uh, the medical scare they just got is enough to get them to quit cold turkey. I know how hard that is, though. All done? Yep. It took you longer than usual today. But given the circumstances, I'm willing to turn a blind eye to that. Let's see. Yeah, I did decent. I spelled back. What have you got for me today? I don't have anything for you. Dr. Theobald was asking after you. Oh, really? Why? I couldn't say. However, he did ask if I could give you the rest of the day off. Not happy about it, but I said yes. I guess it must be something important then. Do you think I should go to his office? You can if you like, but you won't find him there. How do you know? Because he's just made himself comfortable in our break room. Oh, strange. That's just the way he is. I guess I'll pop in and see him then. As you wish. Uh... 
Why am I suddenly concerned about this? Why would he give me the rest of the day off? Finley, there you are. Thank you for coming. Sure, Dr. Theobald, what can I do for you? Nothing, nothing, but I wanted to talk to you. First of all, I'd like to thank you. You've done an excellent job these past few days. Thanks. Is that all you wanted? No, not at all. I heard about Irma Diakama's passing, of course. A tragedy, truly. Like so many others here in Porcupine, I knew Irma well and liked her a lot. I'll miss her very much, the whole town will. But you were the one who looked after her and were there for her in her final days. Is Irma the first patient who's died under your care? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. It's not uncommon to struggle getting your... Or getting... Struggle getting your mind, I think, off them the first time. I just remember my first, too. I think I know what you mean. I still think about Mystique Helma a lot. Just try not to let those thoughts affect you too much. After all, there are still plenty of other people depending on your help. Get distracted from looking out for them. Is... Or it's Irma's funeral service this afternoon. They held at Gilbert's. Giliano hosts most of the funerals in this town. I'm sure this one will be especially hard for him. You should be there. You'll feel better afterward, believe me. You mean I can go to the service? You're excused for the rest of the day. And I'm sure Mrs. Diacalma would have invited you anyway. Okay, then I'll be there. Thank you, Dr. Theobald. No need to thank me, Finlay. Say goodbye to the old lady for me. Oh, that's really lovely. I was concerned we were getting fired. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, okay. I can't talk to Mia right now, I guess. Um, I guess we have a funeral to go to then. I just... I'm thinking ahead here, and I don't think this is going to be the way it is. But I really hope we don't get blamed by her son, maybe. You know what I mean? Take care, kiddo. And don't slip on the snow. I already pulled something in my back this morning. Yeah, that water puddle outside, am I right? Really gotta fix that. Put down some salt or something. Okay, good. We didn't slip. I was a bit worried. <laughs> Actually, it sounded like we were, uh, uh, walking on water, so maybe it hasn't fully frozen yet. It's just kind of slushy. And I think we're gonna walk back. <gasps> oh, hi! Can I interest you in a hot cup of coffee? Perhaps a tea or a saffron roll? No thanks, sorry. I've got somewhere to be. Sure thing. I don't trust you still. Your thing is still very sus. Alrighty, we had a little bit of a crash there, but I got back. Uh, thankfully this game does save, or auto-save very, very frequently. I wish the game would let you save um, on your own terms. That is a little bit of a gripe I have with it, but otherwise, just fair warning if you are also planning to play it. Um, it does, it has some crashes here and there, but it's never really too big of a deal. So you're here too, young one. It's good to see you. The roller coaster of life never stops, does it? A few days ago, we gathered to celebrate and today we've gathered to weep. Finley. Hey, Giliano. I'm so sorry. I wish I'd had more. Finley. It's okay. Thank you for coming. 
I know we haven't known each other for long, but it means a lot to me. Please, make yourselves at home. There's food and drink. Go ahead, take a seat. Just... Just make yourself at home. I promise to not start any bar fights this time. Is there really nothing I can do for you? Come to think of it, there is one thing, actually. Anything you want, what is it? I think there's a colleague of yours here, too. He didn't hang around long. He just stood in the corner and didn't talk to anyone. And I think he went out the back door. I haven't seen him since. Could you go and see if he's still here? I checked myself, but I've got my hands full. Sorry, here I am asking for your help again. It's no problem, Giliano. I'd be happy to do that for you. Thank you. Is that who I think it is? I'm sure Pina made the figurine. It's such a- oh, I forgot about the figurines. Yeah, it's such a nice tradition. I'm proud of you, Pina. Oh, you're kind of behind the table. Ah. Did you know Irma? Of course. I love stopping to chat with her during my rounds. She was always sitting at her window with a plate of cookies next door. She always made me coffee on cold days. I love one of her coffees right now. Irma. I can't believe she just died like that. It's so unfair. Oh, Pina. Wow, you're here. Sorry, Finley. I know how much you liked Irma. How are you feeling? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I think we're having some weird clipping textures right now. Our hat is behind our head. But let's not worry about it. <laughs> I'm just happy I could be here today. Me too, even if it has been a bit stressful for me. But I'd do anything for Irma. If there's anything I can do for you, just say, okay? Hey, Finley. Ted, you're here too. Of course, I've really fallen in love with this little bar. I didn't know there was a funeral today. And I didn't know the deceased at all, but I'd still like to be here for the wake. I'm sure Giliana would be glad to see you. I hope so. Oh, not who I thought it- oh, where's my outfit? Why am I- I am- okay, okay. I have concerns. I- I have no body. I'm gonna go back yet. Okay. I have lost my hat and I have lost my body. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's fine. Don't think too hard on it. <laughs> okay, I've not lost anything else. This is good. Hello. Gregor, what are you doing? Are you here too? Get lost, kid. Do you want to come inside? Service is about to start. No. There's food and drink too. Lots of people here. Leave me alone. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. It was probably the fact that I don't have any torso that turned you off. It's all my fault. What do you- oh, are you gonna talk about the pipe? What do you mean? You're doing the best I can. I know the hospital relies on me. I'm the one who's supposed to look after it, after all. The old lady hadn't gotten sicker. That water damage hadn't happened. If I'd just taken better care of the hospital, then maybe she wouldn't have... This is my burden to bear. I'll never forgive myself. All those people in there. See the way they look at me. They know it's my fault. Uh... I don't know, because this kind of, like, dismisses him outright, but this one, I feel like he's just going to be like, you're just like the rest of them, like, you know. But I'll go with this one. I felt the same way. I was the one treating her right until the end. I'd still believe she'd get better. I didn't want to face the fact that she was going to die. But in the moment she passed, I knew she was at peace with it. She was old, her body was weak, and she was happy. She didn't want people looking after her all the time. And that's okay. I did my best, and you did too. Sometimes things crumble and collapse anyway. Sometimes we have to say goodbye to people. Sometimes we can't help them. 
I'm going in now. You can come with me if you want. I can't. I'm gonna stay here. Okay. But if you change your mind, just know that you'll be welcome. Sure, whatever. I should go. I don't want to disturb the bereaved. You should do what feels right for you. No one's forcing you to stay. Yeah, you're right. Let's go in. If we go in at the same time, they won't all be staring at me. I can slip away quickly if I need to. Sounds good. They can focus on my lack of a torso. Oh dear. Oh. Yes, please. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. So, did you find him? Yes, he's the janitor at the hospital. But he doesn't want to come in. I think he needs some time to himself. Wait, no, he... He is here. I think we all do. I'm glad he's here, though. Speaking of which, how are you holding up? I'm coping. But people let me know if there's anything... Sorry, people? But please let me know if there's anything I can do. I will, my friend. Please sit down. It's about to start. Okay. Dear guests, could I have your attention for a moment? Thank you all for coming. I can barely bring myself to speak. But last night, Irma, my dear mother, passed away. She's, she's a real talker, always telling stories. She is surrounded by people who loved her. That's you guys. Thanks for that, all of you. When when I was little, she taught me to play an instrument. She practiced with me, and I hated every second of it. But, but when I was playing, her eyes would just light up. I wish she could look at me that way again. I want to play a very special song for you. A song Irma requested every time I picked that instrument up. One day, it was really frosty when I had to deliver my letters. I slipped on a patch of ice. My whole mailbag fell into the river with all the letters still inside it. I tore my cruciate ligament. Irma not only helped me fish every single letter out of the river, she even dried them, restored them, and delivered them for me. Irma worked with my parents in a restaurant. Things had been going downhill for a while, then Irma came up with a new dish. Rainbow beet breathing. It was a hit. For long, it was the only dish anyone wanted. Irma and I used to play backgammon back every Thursday in the summer. You, how did you know Irma Finley? I, um... I'll tell you how that squirt knew Irma. He's the one who let her die. It's the truth. Irma was in great shape. So one day she just bends over, sprains an ankle, ends up in the hospital. A few days later, suddenly she's sick, real sick, and then she just dies. I'm telling you, it's all that guy's fault. Him and the, all the staff at that awful hospital. 
I just heard them talking about it right now. They're letting the hospital deteriorate. So bad that folks who go there pick up new diseases in the wards. Irma didn't even have pneumonia until they took her to that dump. I'm telling you, Irma didn't just die. She was murdered there. If St. Ursula wasn't so useless, Irma would still be with us today. We'd be celebrating, not mourning. Everyone who works there should stand up and take the blame for this. But I'll be better off if that hospital was torn down and never darkened our skyline again. Rolf, that's a crock of nonsense. Nah, hold on. Maybe he's got a point? Yeah, St. Ursula's is a danger to us all. That's right, we need to run these murderers out of town. Maybe it would be better that way. Look around you, do you see anyone from the hospital here except this clown? Exactly, they don't even have the nerve to come to her funeral. Because they know it's their fault, plain as the nose on your face. But... Quiet, everyone. Please. This isn't about pointing the finger at anyone. This isn't about St. Ursula's. It's about Irma, my mother, your friend. Finley? Yeah? I'm sorry to have to ask you this, but perhaps it would be best if you leave. But, please, I don't want this argument to ruin Irma's memorial. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Let's talk later. Okay. Oh, that's so dark. Oh my god. Oh man, that didn't go how I expected. Looks like my cell phone's had no reception at Gilbert's. Me and Carl both tried to call me. Oh, I get the choice here. All right, we're gonna have to wait though for our next episode here. I'm glad there seems to be a bit more to this game. Uh, thank you so very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.